Hey, what's up guys, Dude Tech here. Welcome back with a brand new video. In this video, I have another cool tweaks for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. With that being said, let's get started. Quick Shoot Pro 3. Allow you to use your camera icon from your home screen from here. So if you guys want to take a picture from your home screen, it's easy to do that. All what you need to do, just double tap on it. Just like so. So I already take a picture and then you can find the picture on your studio. And then if you want to take a video, it's easy. Triple touch. One, two, three. And then as you guys can see right now, I'm taking a video. And then if I want to stop that, it's easy. So triple touch again. One, two, three. And then it saved my video right now on my studio. It's easy to do that. So if we go right now into the settings, showing you guys what's going on here. So the first thing is you need to just enable the bond here. And then you have the camera settings here. So you can go through all those settings. So the camera device here. So you can switch from the boat, which is if you want to use your rear camera or the front camera. So you can just pick it up from here. The video quality. So you can, to you can go and choose you with the uh, quality that you want for your video and in the flash mode you can turn that on or you can just leave it off two options here for the hdr and then for the blur and then here you can activate her the shortcuts here so you can choose for your front image rear image and then for the both which is going to be the front video and the rear video two other things here you have in the bottom which is going to be the flash screen and the status bar overlay and that's it it's really amazing when you set it on your i device to give you that easy way to take a picture or record a video on your i device quick shoot pro 3 reform x so when you download this tweak here it will give you a lot of stuff that you can customize for your i device and in a specific i'm talking here about your home screen so this is the reform and it's by the way it's a free version here so you can download it and as you guys can see here you can do a lot of stuff on your home screen let me just get back right now here talking about the settings and what we have on the reform x so the first thing that you need to do is just enable the button here and then here we will be start going through a lot of things so the first thing that you can go to the dock here and then you can switch a lot of things from here and then easy you can play with your dock settings you can play with the icons you can play with the size you can play and then put those in the top icon down and then you can uh, remove as well and or hide the dock background from here so you can enable that easy let me get back here the other thing which is going to be the folders so you can play with the folders giving you those options here so you can play with it and then you can change a lot of stuff i can't go through a lot of stuff guys but i'm just showing you guys the basic things here the other thing that i uh, want to talk about which is going to be the home screen you can play with clones you can play with label size you can play with the icon size here so you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can play with the icon slide you can uh, play with the icon top the other thing which is going to be the rotation here so you can enable the rotation from there and then you can rotate the wallpaper as well so you can enable that and then you can go through more settings here on the bottom and the other thing which is going to be the theme light and then by the way when you download the tweak it will be show up as an icon on your home screen it's not going to be on your settings so you have to make sure it's going to be you saw it on your home screen just like so reform x okay so the other famous week that i want to talking with you guys about it which is going to be the barrel so when you download the tweak you go to home settings right now you can see the icon show up on your home screen just like so so if you tap on it and then it's completely right now compatible with the ios 10 jailbreak device so when you download the tweak that is nothing to configure you have just only one thing to do so which is going to be you open the tweak here and then you choose the motion that you want is going to be or you like to set on your home screen so i set it here on the barrel default motion here as you guys can see and i really like that design here 
and I'm really happy with it and it's so much famous everybody downloaded it since the iOS 9 get jailbreak but right now the uh, it's compatible with the iOS 10 jailbreak devices barrel Alright, let's talk right now about the onion so once you download the onion the onion is going to be move all the things that you have on your control center it's going to be move everything and it's going to be giving you that flat view on your control center so let me just give you a guys example let me jump right now and showing you guys my control center here and if i just turn that on let me just turn off because it's not going to be work with the dark mode and as you guys can see here there is no lines there is nothing it's just give that flat mode for your control center just like that simple is that that's what onion do for your control center onion so do you want your dock looks like this or just like this or like so or like a wheel or like a time machine okay so let's talk in here about this sir dock here so when you download pretty famous tweak it's compatible right now with the ios 10 jailbreak device so when you download the tweak it will give you that all those designs you can set it on your iDevice dock if we go right now through the, all those settings here the first thing that you need to do is just enable the application from here the top one here and then if you want to go and change the settings easy so you can just stop here and it's going to be giving you the motion or the option that you just picked from the option here and then you can just set it on your i device so easily if you want to go right now to the type or the action that you want to set it on your phone so you can just pick any one from those here let me just pick this one go back and as you guys can see the motion right now is going to be different also you can just enable the dac bouncing here and then you can go to the dock scroll emanation here you can just enable that and then it's giving you more than option here you guys can go through all those options believe me guys there is a lot of things i can't explain all those things in this video but there is a lot of things that you can go through on this tweak here so let me just get back here the only thing that is left after you guys finish all those settings is the import and export also just be advised when you finish everything you need to respring your iDevice to set everything and it's gonna, everything will be work after that on your iPhone I highly recommend you guys to download it on your iDevice because it's really give your iDevice pretty nice look and then the other thing it's allow you to add like four five six icons on your dock and then it's gonna be help you a lot when you want to open any one of those application on your iDevice sir dock i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video please just like always give it a big thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos i see you guys in next video this is do tech thanks for watching